What are the top 10 suburbs in Chattanooga? You might also want to know what in Chattanooga, a city of Southern Tennessee, has to offer. That's why we're going to talk about the many different areas in Chattanooga, Tennessee in this video. If you want to learn everything about living in Chattanooga and its surrounding areas, make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell notification. You'll be the first to know about the current market trends in Chattanooga. I'm Vaughn. I work with the number one real estate team in the country with eXp. We love to hear from you and everything you do, calls, texts, emails, no matter if you are buying or selling in early or late, we're here to stand by to make it great. So without further ado, let's get into it. Lookout Mountain. This is an upscale family suburb that offers a unique mountain living experience. It's beautiful views of sunrises, sunsets, hiking trail. It's also close to the amenities of Chattanooga. Lookout Mountain is steeped in rich history and that dates back to the American Civil War. It was the site of the Battle Above the Clouds and offers numerous historical landmarks and education opportunities for residents and visitors alike. The town is named after the mountain it sits on, which provides residents with the stunning views and landscapes. The natural beauty of the area is a major draw for those who appreciate the outdoor activities and scenic areas. Despite its historical significance, Lookout Mountain today is a peaceful and serene place to live. The hustle and bustle of city life seem a world away, making it an ideal location for seeking tranquility. Lookout Mountain is considered the most affluent part of Chattanooga area. The median household income is $120,900 per year, significantly higher than the nationwide median. This affluence can be seen in the quality of local amenities and services. According to niche.com, Lookout Mountain is one of the best places to live in Tennessee, offering residents a, a rural feel. Most residents own their own homes, and many retirees live in Lookout Mountain. The public schools in Lookout Mountain are also above average. Signal Mountain. This is a lively suburb that is set in nature. It has a strong sense of community, good public schools, and plenty of outdoor activities. It is also safe, quiet, and friendly. Signal Mountain is surrounded by the natural beauty of Tennessee River Gorge, with its breathtaking views of Tennessee Valley and the surrounding area. It provides a peaceful atmosphere with those looking to escape the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Signal Mountain is an affluent community. The median household income of Signal Mountain is 104,933 more than double the average income for the state of Tennessee. Signal Mountain has a population of 8,523, distributed over 8.4 miles at a population density of about 1,000 per square mile. The public school system in Signal Mountain is above average. This makes it an ideal place for families and school-aged children. Enjoy act outdoor activities such as hiking, biking, and running are popular pastimes due to the proximity of trails, rivers, and parks. So if you're looking for a place that is safe with a cool mountain home and a bunch of fun outdoor activities, Signal Mountain can help you with that. Collegedale. This is a growing suburb that has a lot of diverse culture. It is home to Southern Adventist University, which attracts students from all around the world. It also has high median income and its own airport. The public schools in Collegedale are above average. This makes it an ideal place for families with school-aged children. Enjoying the outdoor activities such as hiking, biking, running, and popular pastimes due to its proximity to trails, rivers, and parks. If you are looking for a place with cool mountain homes and a bunch of fun, Collegedale can help with that. Red Bank. This is an affordable suburb that has a lot of Southern charm. It is a mix of old and new homes and vibrant business districts and a friendly atmosphere. It is also close to the Tennessee River and downtown Chattanooga. Red Bank is a pleasant town southeast of Chattanooga with plenty of remarkable amenities such as the Boxwell Scout Reservation offering a distinctive environment or White Oak golf course perfect for exploring. Red Oak is considered to be very affordable. When you're comparing the cost of living to the national and Tennessee average, Red Bank is 24% less expensive to live in than the national average at 1.6% cheaper than the rest of Tennessee. This is mainly due to Red Bank's housing market. The median cost of home in Red Bank is $235,000 or 168 per square foot. Cleveland. This is a larger city that has a, a lot of growth and development. It is home to the Lee University, which is one of the largest private universities in Tennessee. It is also has several museums, parks, festivals. It is also the closest to the Okoye River and Cherokee National Forest. 
And comparing Cleveland to bigger cities, Cleveland is a small city located in Bradley County, Tennessee. It's home to the Museum of Appalachia and offers the variety of outdoor activities. The city is surrounded by natural beauty, making it an attractive place for those who love the outdoors. The cost of living in Cleveland is 16.6% lower than the U.S. average. The median home cost in Cleveland is $244,000, making it an affordable place to live compared to many other cities. Cleveland has a stable economy with a positive job growth. The unemployment rate in Cleveland is 5.6%, which is lower than the U.S. average. This economic stability makes it an attractive place for job seekers and professionals. Downtown. Downtown Chattanooga has a vibrant economy. The city's electric power board, EPB, has not only brought gigabit speed internet to the community, but has also fostered innovation, earning Chattanooga the title of Gig City. EPB's efforts have resulted in supportive environment for tech companies, creative ventures, and forward-thinking entrepreneurs. Despite being a mid-sized city, Chattanooga boasts a thriving arts and culture scene that's anything but ordinary. From Hunter Museum of American Art, housed in the striking cliffside building, to the Songbirds Guitar Museum, so showcasing rare and iconic guitars, and the Tivoli Theater hosting captivating performances, there's always something exciting to experience. Chattanooga is a favorite among outdoor enthusiasts. Surrounded by stunning Appalachian Mountains and bordered by the Tennessee River, residents enjoy easy access to a plethora of outdoor activities. Whether you're into hiking the majestic trails of the Lookout Mountain or exploring the ancient rock formations of Ruby Falls, kayaking among the river or biking through the scenic river walk, Chattanooga's natural beauty will keep you constantly inspired and energized. When it comes to celebrating, Chattanoogans know how to do it with flair. The city hosts an array of lively festivals and events through the year that appeal to all interests. Whether you're joining the Riverbend Festival for live music or local cuisine, exploring the Chattanooga Film Festival's cinematic wonders, or getting your fill of arts and crafts at the Three Sisters Bluegrass Festival, there's always something to keep you entertained and connected with the community. The cost of living in Chattanooga is 16.6% lower than the U.S. average. The median home cost in Chattanooga is $244,000, making it an affordable place to live compared with many other cities. Harrison Bay Harrison Bay is home to the Harrison Bay State Park, a 1,200-acre state demonstration park developed by the Tennessee Valley Authority in the 1930s along the shores of Chickamauga Lake. The park offers breathtaking views and a variety of outdoor activities. The area has a rich history with the park getting its name from the now partially submerged town of Harrison, Tennessee. The park was built at the same time as Booker T. Washington State Park. There was a large flood in the 1940s after construction of the Chickamauga Dam, which led to a large portion of the town being covered in water. The park is known for its waterfront views, but there are also multiple trails for people to explore along the shore. The 4.5 mile Bay Point Trail takes you out to the tip of the park along the shore. Harrison Bay offers residents a sparse suburban feel and most residents own their homes. Many young professionals live in Harrison Bay and residents tend to lean conservative, Appison. Living in Appison, Tennessee is an incredibly rewarding experience. The small town atmosphere allows for close-knit relationships to form, creating a tight-knit community feeling. The scenery of the area is spectacular with rolling hills, lush greenery, and an abundance of wildlife that can be seen throughout the year. There are also plenty of outdoor activities to enjoy, such as camping, hiking, and nearby trails. Residents take great pride in their town, which has led to a strong economic growth over the years. All in all, living in Appison provides a peaceful and enjoyable lifestyle for people of all ages and backgrounds. The cost of living in Appison is 5.4% higher than the U.S. average, However, considering the quality of life and amenities available, 
it is still an affordable place to live compared to many other cities. McDonald. Although you might want to start off with a song, McDonald is a tiny town located in the state of Tennessee. With a population of 586 people and two constituent neighborhoods, McDonald is the 325th largest community in Tennessee. The small town atmosphere allows for close-knit relationships to form, creating a tight-knit community feeling. McDonald real estate is some of the most expensive in Tennessee. Although McDonald housing values don't compare to the most expensive real estate in the U.S., the per capita income in McDonald is in 2018 was 32,161. Residents find that the town is relatively quiet. This is because it is not overpopulated and it has fewer college students, renters, and young children, all of whom can be noisy at times. So if you're looking for a relatively peaceful place to live, McDonald is worth considering. A relatively large number of people in McDonald telecommute to their jobs. Overall, about 10% of the workforce works from home. While this may seem like a small number, as a fraction of the total workforce, it ranks among the highest in the country. People get transferred all the time and need to find a place to live and the real estate market in Chattanooga is booming and it's not going to slow down anytime soon. If you buy a property now, you will benefit from the appreciation that will happen in the future. If you wait, you will have to pay more for the same property later. But we understand that everyone has different situations and that's why we invite you to connect with us via phone, text, email, Zoom, so that we can discuss personal needs and goals. We can help you find a good deal in the market because we have experience and expertise in buying and selling homes in all kinds of situations. We know that some people have moved to Chattanooga because of their jobs, their families, or their personal reasons. In that case, we recommend that you buy a home as soon as possible. Even if it's not your dream home, you can live there for a while and get to know the area better. Then you can decide if you want to move again or not. Moving is not easy. But renting is not a better option. If you rent, you are not creating any equity. You're just paying someone else's mortgage. Why not buy a home now and build some equity in it? You can then keep it as a rental property or add it as a Airbnb or sell it and make the profit off it and put it in your equity of your new home. The real estate market in Chattanooga is growing steadily, even if not as fast as before you can either take advantage of this growing by buying now or pay for it by buying later. But we're not trying to pressure you, but we do want to talk to, with you and find out what's best for you and your family. That's all we ask. We'll help you decide if it's the best right time to buy or not based on the data, the statistics, and the budget, the price range, and your situation, of course. We hope this was helpful. Please leave us a comment below if you live in Chattanooga or if you used to live in Chattanooga. What are the things that you love and hate about Chattanooga? Please be respectful and polite if you have any negative opinions about Chattanooga. Please share them in a courteous way. Your, your comments will help others who are watching this video and considering moving to Chattanooga. We would love to hear from you and the local residents. And remember, no matter if you're buying or selling as early or late, we're always here to make it great. We are happy to help you make a smooth transition. And until next time, we hope to see you around town and this wasn't enough for you, you should check out the next video, Pros and Cons of Living in Chattanooga.